they know what is required of them. And God has the manual right here. But if you don't walk before them, if your life does not reflect that you rely totally on Jesus, it's no way it's going to work. No way. Amen? Now, you know, if y'all give me more amens, I'll sit down quicker. Amen? Uh-oh, uh the amens got real quick. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, so now we're at basic camp. How many soldiers we got in here? You been in the military at one time or another? Have you been in the real army or navy or air force or whatever? Raise your hand. All right. So you all got to keep me straight on this part, all right? So you get to basic training, and you get this uh, drill sergeant that comes out probably to the bus or whatever you was hauled in with. Amen? And the drill sergeant is all up in your face, all up in your space, and all you want to do is go back home to mama. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 And you go, what did he say? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Okay. Well, nowadays, you got a GPS. All right. Amen. Is that what this is, Top? A GPS. This goes in your car. But evidently, it's portable because I took it out the windshield. Amen. It's either portable or broke, one or the other. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Come on now. Let's stay on one accord. We got to keep this thing real. And, and with this GPS, it tells you your direction. If you get lost or if you can't find your way, this is your GPS for the highway. Let me see your GPS. There it is. That's your GPS. It'll take you anywhere you need to go. Now, it's not going to teach you how to go to the bar room. It's not going to teach you how to pick up women and men. It's not going to teach you how to cheat on your test in school. It's not going to teach you how to steal from Walmart. Amen? It's not going to teach you that. But it will teach you that God will provide all your needs according to his riches and glory. This book will teach you just how to get a job and be one that you love instead of one that you hate. This, this book right here, this manual, will teach you everything you need to know. It'll teach you what not to do and what to do. It'll tell you, when I was a child, I spake as a child. But now that I am grown, I should put away childish things. Stop playing games, church. Stop playing games. Because let me tell you, Holy Ghost will reveal all things. All things. All things. You ain't got to go ask your neighbor. They having worse problems than you are. Amen. They have. If, if they knew the answer, don't you think they wouldn't be in that position they in? Amen. You know, it, it, it constantly amazes me when I see someone that's going through a whole lot. And they'll go and tell somebody who's going through worse things than they are and believe they have the answer. You know, it's, it's just remarkable, don't you think? Now, we have basic training. We done found the barracks. Everybody know what the barracks is? That's where you're going to sleep with a whole bunch of people. Stinky feet. Bad arm smell. Amen? Yeah. And nothing but, oh, God, how did I get into this predicament? Yeah. And nowadays, unfortunately, when you get in the Army, the first thing you're going to do after you go through basic training is go to Iraq. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. There was a young man in the barbershop. You know, I hate doing something to my hair. So I go to the barbershop and get a haircut. Well, I tried my best on, was it Saturday morning? Eight o'clock, I was in the barbershop. Only woman in there. And this man was going on and on, and I, I said, Lord, I'm just not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. And I, mm -hmm. 
just kept on humming. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not getting in that conversation. It didn't last. <laughs> About 15 minutes passed. And I said, son, that is barbershop talk if I ever heard from. He was talking about some white woman that had a pet and he, she treated the pet like a child. And then he turned around and called his children his pets. I went, you know, you need to explain a little bit of this. Just explain it a little bit. He said, oh, Miss Williams, I didn't even see you was in here. I said, now, there's 10 men sitting in here and me. And you didn't see me, and I'm not a size six now, okay? I said, no, no, no. I said, son, we have to realize that there is always someone listening to what we are saying. If you're having a conversation right outside the doors of these church, right outside the doors, there's somebody listening to you. And it just might be a child. It might be one of my soldiers. So I would appreciate it if we would govern ourselves more accordingly. Amen? Amen. And as a soldier, soldiers stand up. Now, when someone in authority says something to you, let's just pretend it's your mama and daddy. Uh, as, a, as a soldier, okay, soldiers, y'all, help me here. Do you say, yeah, man, when they ask you something, or do you say, cool, or do you say, yes, sir, or no, ma'am? Y'all better talk to me. I'm be up here all morning. Amen. Well, as a soldier, as a soldier in the army of the Lord, you have got to use your manners. Amen. Even if somebody does something negative, use your manners. And guess what? We're never too old to use them because someone in authority that you might have to go back to will say. Well, I don't know about that, but all I know is he's got good manners. They'll say that. Sit down, soldiers. I know you got your 8 o'clock shoes on. Amen? Finally, finally, it's graduation time, basic training. Okay? You're standing in the field. All the soldiers, your platoon is there. Your platoon is out in all this 90 degree heat. Standing at attention. And you're hoping somebody don't pass out. Amen? But it teaches you obedience. And it teaches you how to do the right thing. The right thing. Now, we had a young girl here. And, and she was expecting. And I tell you. I felt like I was in labor. <laughs> Every time I turned around, she was having a pain and no baby. You know, I had to, I had to really take a good look to see if, is she, all right, is she pregnant or is she pregnant? Because I'm telling you, I'm having these labor pains for her and she ain't having no baby. <laughs> I, you know, I couldn't understand it. Her friends were walking her every day. In fact, I think she walked so much, the baby came here thin. I'm being truthful. See, see, you, you know what's wrong in the church? Let me tell you what's wrong in the church. The church is so used to garbly garch. Amen? That when you reel with, with the church, it sounds weird to you. Or it sounds funny to you. It does. Because you're so used to something else going on around you. If you keep it real. Let me tell you about God's people. If you just let them know what they need to do. Let them know when it's got to be done. God's people are the hardest working, best people I ever met. But you got to be on one accord. You got to be right here. Right here. It's just like husband and wife. All right, I can pick on the past. I sleep with him, amen. 